Bar, which is one of the main panels for a live streaming service of Westport United FC. This evening we're doing a, a little vlog ahead of the Chile Cup final. My name is Kelly Gannon, I'm the club hero, and joining me this evening is John Hastings, who's part of the B team management, Keen Gill, who got involved this season with the B team, Colin McDonough, who's been around a few years and was captain when the B team lost the trophy, which was the league playoff two years ago, PJ Calfey, who was actually involved with the squad that last won the Tui Cup in 2015, and Kieran Cuddy, who's captain of the squad. So I'm going to get everyone to do a little, little brief introduction, start with John. John Hastings, um, coach of the Junior B team, Westport United. Keen Gill, uh, my first year, Senior B team. Colin McDonough, vice captain of the Westport United B team for this season. PJ Calvi, um, player for a nice number of years now with the Junior B team. Um, yeah. And Kieran Cuddy, I'm the captain of the B team, uh, playing at the club since 2017. Okay, thanks lad. So okay, I'm co going to start, start with, with John. John, you came into the coaching setup with the B team this season. Um, How is things going along with, on the coaching side of the... Very, very well. Players are very nice to coach. Very, very nice. Good attitudes all the time. Even during games, after games, before games. They do everything right. They prepare right. And the results are shown because of that. And when I was at, your, at the session last night, it was actually buzzing. Um, everyone was really getting involved. When I when I turned up, um, Niall, Niall Quinn turned around and said to me, um, you know, we're, in the, gee, we're in the cup final, the camera's here. And, and then afterwards, when he came at the end of the session, he said, gee, that was, that was a great session. Well done, lads. You could see the buzz there. There was, what, 20 plus last night training? And everyone was really up for it, which was absolutely fantastic. And you really look like a team that's going out there to try and win the competition. Of course they are. Like the lads know themselves, any week coming up to a cup final is, there's always great excitement. The level goes up in training. Everybody wants to be on the starting level. Um, and the lads, of course, want to go up and win the cup. They don't want to be, they don't want to go there and lose it. It it's, wouldn't be a nice feeling, but to win it would be great. Absolutely. King Gill, this is your first year at junior level. I've known you from doing three set up along with Joe Kelly for many years and um, getting into um, quarterfinals and semi-finals of the SBI Cup competitions and winning SBI regional cups and doing really well at county level. How are you finding your first season at junior level? Yeah, it's a big step up to underage football and like all the lads have been brilliant since I came in and just, just keep going and trying to win this trophy now. And I see you found the senior, the senior lads um, very influential in helping you along yeah, this the were, season. Yeah, they were very influential to me. And I see you learned a lot too, coming up against them um, tough full backs who not just try to win the ball, they try to take the man out as well, which is different from underage football, the physicality side of things. Yeah, it's a big step up, like um, the physicality side of it. And you're absolutely looking forward to Sunday? Oh yeah, very looking forward to it. Yeah, and how are you preparing for Sunday? Have you any different ideas for yourself? No, nothing really. Eating the same food, drinking the same <laughs> yeah, drink? Yeah, eating good food and drinking water keeping and everything. Yeah. Keeping it simple. Yeah. yeah, and studying hard at school, absolutely. Oh, yeah. While pretending yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Colin, coming on to yourself. Vice captain, you were captain the last time Rescue United B team won a trophy, which was the playoff against Kalala, if, if, if I'm right in saying August 2019. Correct. Yeah, yeah. and um, that was a, a great day for you. you. You had great celebrations that night, obviously. And what, what was the, the feeling like that day for you? Well, I suppose, Ken, <clears throat> with the pandemic and that, it feels like it's a long time ago. It feels, I was informed during the week, it was only two years ago, it feels like five. Um, look, it was a great day out. The, the day didn't start off to get off to a great start. I remember he started wiping a goal down after maybe 15, 20 minutes and we got a goal back before half time and again, the bench won, us for, won the game for us that day, um, ball on pace and we ended up winning the game 3-1 and 
it was on Sunday, it's going to be the same thing. John touched it there about the start of 11. Um, this, yeah, the start of 11 will have a lot to say, but obviously it's five lads, six, seven lads, and the extended the panel members that'll have, that'll have a big say in it all stuff. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, uh, Milebush, we don't get to play in it that often, so yeah, really, really looking forward to it now, and uh, can't wait for Sunday. I bet you can't. PJ Calfey, yes, a man that had experience not playing, but yeah. was part of the panel the last time West Bernardia won the Tui Cup back in 2015. Yeah. Have you uh, any good memories to share of that day? Um, yeah, I, actually, I was looking back over it there um, before I came in, and I just remember it being pretty similar to as Carl said there, you know. I think we won 3-2 on the day. Um, I think we went to we went to goal behind and came and then came strong, you know, and won the game. But it was a challenge all the way and I think it was probably something that you look back on and just, you know, enjoy winning them games like because finals are once off, you know, and that's very important that you put your foot in the ground and try and win the game um, and start from the start. And you know, um, yeah, I look back there. McNally got three goals that day, he was super. You know, there was players there like Paul Doherty, Michael Rourke, um, loads of other players that don't play anymore. You know, I think there's only four, I think. Now there's still Podge, there's Niall, there's Michal. Oh, five, so Podge, yeah. Niall, I forgot about Michal. Yeah. <laughs> Podge, Niall, Michal, myself and Mac, I think, um, since then days. But it just shows you there was a lot of youth there that day as well. And there's a lot of youth there tomorrow as well. And of course, I remember that day, Mark, Mark couldn't play that final, he was sick that day. Mark McDonough. Yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Was, he, didn't, he didn't take too kindly to that, I remember it well. Yes, he was really upset about it. Yeah. And I remember, I remember that day when um, we went to the rest afterwards, and yeah. I had this little project in my head, yeah. getting everyone to say a few words afterwards, and the one person I was targeting specifically and got rest of now, Admiral Crone, yes. because he was so quiet, he wouldn't speak, and it was my little exercise to get him to say a few yeah. words, to get him more extroverted at the time. Yeah, yeah. It was a brilliant exercise, and I have no regrets doing that. No, 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 no. As I said, that's probably, yeah, you remember Adam for games like that as well, I remember he was involved, um, top young man, top player, you know, um, yeah. And the next day, I... There was some session that night, I, I yes. certainly remember, we were here, we were in the castle court, we were in the rest, and, but I remember the next day, I was, I was at work, but when I read up with you again, you used to outside the clock, and then we went to the jester, and to be honest, I had absolutely no voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was so <laughs> hoarse that I couldn't speak. It, yeah. it was about the only time in which you could tell me to show up, yeah. and I just couldn't say anything. Oh, the celebrations were brilliant, you know. That's the one good thing about this group, like, you know, and, it's, and I've been there since I'm, I don't know what, age 16, I think. You know, they always enjoy themselves, you know, and I think that's a massive bonus to have within the group, especially showing the young lads coming through as well, that, you know, enjoy them things. When you win them, treasure them moments, you know, go out and celebrate them, um, and just enjoy it, you know, if you have to win. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, Kieran, you've been here since... 2017, you're captain now. How do you feel going into your, to this final? Your first as captain? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think everybody's looking forward to it. You know, these are the games every player wants to be involved in. So I think everybody's looking forward to it. So I'm, I'm the exact same. And yeah, you certainly ran a few words here. Um, but but <laughs> we, they're both yourself, really. Um, You'd be watching and minding yourself, really. You're kind of like postman Pat during the day. Well, I've done black and white cast. <laughs> you preempted that one, Kenny. You preempted that one. <laughs> and then, and then once you, and once you're off duty from the post office, it's out and training with the lads and playing your football at the weekends, and you're enjoying it obviously. Oh, you don't yeah, have any um, special omens for yourself lined up. No, I don't have any. No, business as usual. Yeah. Training during the week, we train Saturday and in the end nothing will change. We win focus then on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll do a job. Yeah, and um, so so John, um, back back to you. Um, I, ha I was watching you last night with the cones and I have to say 
The ways that you are putting de them down and pick them up again was just pure military precision coming from you. <laughs> um, do, do you actually enjoy being so Germanic um, as in putting the cones down there that she has to be so accurate and so specific? I didn't realise I was like that Kenny at all, to be honest with you. Did you not? No, didn't, yeah. didn't realise that at all. Yeah. Well, she, the, the, co the coaching background thing, everyone is really hands on. From well, my to, observations. At all, at all levels, you have to be. If, if you're not, players lose interest. Teams don't win trophies, put themselves in positions like the lads have. Top half of the league table in cup, in two cup finals. We have another cup final, obviously, at the end of the season. Like The lads have to do everything on the pitch. We can only do so much off the pitch. It's up to them after that. So, Keane. And I know I'm, I'm only speaking to you, but the other lads, the younger lads, what's, what's their own feelings about Sunday? Were you chatting to them much? I wasn't really talking to them, but I'm sure they're looking forward to the result just as much as I am. But, yeah, but um, there was a good few of them there last night training, and they were equally as enthusiastic as the older, older lads, and I'm sure they were all pushing for a place to get on that run to 11 on Sunday. Oh, I'm sure they're looking forward to And and I say for someone who might get who might get a run on Sunday, just to be on the Asian man panel would be something for them. Yeah, it would be. So coming coming back to you, Colin. Um, have you any um anything in your own little mind how to prepare for Sunday, how to psych yourself up? Would you be doing anything different or abnormal? Any silly ideas? Uh, no, Ken. Um, as 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 Kieran touched there, now it's um, look, it's business as usual. There's no point. There's no point changing anything. Um, we don't we don't we don't fix anything if it's not broken. Um, so as as Kieran said, it's it's all going blazing for Sunday now, and just getting the minds right, uh, getting the rest. Um, as we've seen this night in training, the effort is top draw from, from the lads. So um, yeah, just hoping to carry that intensity in because it's going to be a battle against Darius. Like. Any game against there is a tough game. The lads down there, they're always up for it. So it's up to us to match them on the day. And yeah, roll on Sunday. Yeah, PJ. Mm. Brandon Scal. Yes. If he's fit and available on Sunday, he's got a good record against there. Yeah. At Super League level, and yes. And I and I know he once scored a hat trick against them down there. Yes. A few a, a few years back. Mm. So. It's probably one of his favourite teams to play against. So if he's, yeah. so I'm sure if he's down the stat in the left, I'd say he'll probably fancy his chances scoring again against them. Yeah, and look, Brandon is top top player, like you know, and in my opinion, he's probably the best striker in the club at the minute. You know, and I think on the day, you know, if if he's 100%, there's no be stopping him. You know, he will score a lot of goals, and not only that, he create a lot of chances as well. And he'd help the he'd help the lads control the game. So yeah, I think that's all that really needs to be said with him, you know, he'll and I'm pretty sure he'd turn up and do the job in the big game. And we've seen with some excellent performances this this season. Um when you look at Joe Sweet defensively, yeah. had a solid enough season actually. Yeah. And there were some very good performances from Adam Diamond Kane. Yeah. We've seen um Ocean Lyle putting them putting in good shifts. But then again, you had some experienced guys like Paul Shoes, still as energetic as ever, oh, yes, go up and down the pitch. Yeah. So you still, you still have to good performance out there, e yeah. even though I do be kind of reminded from at, from time to time that the finishing up front could be a bit better. Yeah, well, look, as you said there, Kenny, there's, there's a brilliant balance in my opinion in the team, you know, and from older lads, if we are older, I don't know, um, so to younger, here, yeah. and even in between, you know, um, there's a nice mix of all types of ages, all types of quality, you know, it's great to see what's happening with the young lads coming through, as you mentioned a few names there, um, it's just great to see them taking a step up and taking it in their stride, you know, especially in their first year, um, I think they've been brilliant, they have a lot of learning to do, but I think they've been brilliant in their first year. And I hope to God that they can go out and perform on Sunday and win their first senior trophy and, and use that moving forward. And I'm sure if they keep 
performing well, the younger lads particularly, um, they will certainly be having an eye on pushing on to the first team squad, which is the ultimate aim. Yeah, absolutely. And look, I've said it to Pino sitting here beside us, I've said it to all the lads, I said, try your best to get into that team, experience that type of football, that level. Um, it'll only make you go as a person as well as a footballer. Um, so yeah, and I hope that they can continue to perform like they have been, as I said, um, and improve a bit on that as well. Um, and they will get there, no problem at all. And Kieran, um, when you look at when you look at what PJ said, the the players that are performing well and some of them will be looking to push towards their first team. From your own experience, um, what what sort of advice can you give to the younger lads? Keep doing what they're doing. The, the younger players we have are the linchpin in, in our team at the moment. We've Keane, we've Adam, we've Ted, uh, O'Sheen in the middle, you know. Keep doing what they're doing, keep training hard. They'll try and make that jump as soon as they can, get into that first team, get the experience there. Most of them are well capable of playing at that level. They just, just need a few games, a few minutes on the pitch. Okay, I'm going to make it the, the final word. The final word from you, John. Final word for me. <coughs> definitely, definitely think it's within our grasp on Sunday. The lads are good enough. They know themselves they can't go in with an attitude of complacency or the final will be over very quickly. But they're definitely enough quality throughout the team and throughout whoever's on the subs bench to win that game. Keane, what's your final word for Sunday? Well, Seeing from last night, we had a brilliant session and everyone played well and the buzz is brilliant. I'm sure we'll bring it in this Sunday. Colin? Yeah, like that, as Keane said, uh, the training was brilliant last night. Um, so, look, at, it's all about getting our heads right now for Sunday. Um, I suppose when we're finished here, the chalking is over. Um, it's about getting the sleeves rolled up and going to battle on Sunday because we will be in for a battle. And um, I've no doubt in my mind that the lads on our team are well capable for that. And uh, I'm as I said, really, really looking forward. PJ? Yeah, just to back up what all the lads are saying there, same, same thing really, keep it simple. Um, in my opinion, we beat ourselves on Sunday if we lose, you know, and that's no disrespect to Eris or any other teams, but I think that we are the best team in the league, the best team in the cup. Um, and I'm not just saying that, like, I can see the quality over the years. Um, so I think it's up to us, you know, start from the start, bring intensity, bring focus, bring bring whatever you have to the game and if it turns into a battle like Colin said you know be ready for that as well but we're well able to play football and we played mock Park we turn up in my opinion and Kieran yeah I, I think we just need to be confident going into it you know confidence is key so we're too confident we're, we're well prepared already so that's it okay thanks to all the lads for speaking to me this evening just to remind you that the final is on Sunday at Solar Twinsland Park Mile Bush kickoff is at 2.30 and the game will be live streamed to you no matter where you're around the world don't forget to tune in and we we'll, can enjoy the pleasure of your company sunday afternoon hey.